I'm coming in. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Have you heard of privacy? Yeah, I just want to make sure you're okay. I could have been taking a shit, for all we know. Um, we're about to eat breakfast, so you should probably join us. Do I have to? Yeah, considering you're going to be living here, you should probably get to know my roommates. And also, I'm probably going to get a haircut later, so you can come with me if you want. Yay, haircut. I had two callbacks, and they ended up casting some Spanish guy. Dude, I hate when that happens. If they know they're gonna go ethnic, why do they even bring us in? Yeah, plus, the casting director was definitely some chick I was fucking last year at some point. As soon as I walked in, she freaked out, and she couldn't even look me in the eyes. Did you guys end up on bad terms? That's the thing. We didn't really talk about it. It just kind of ended. She ghosted him? <laughs> Welcome to L.A. I'm kind of upset about it, because I thought I did good on those two callbacks, but I sort of think she did it on purpose. She probably did. How long are you staying? I don't know. I mean, it's cool. We don't mind. We just... We just want to make sure you're not, like, crazy. Can you define crazy? Just kidding. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I'm crazy. Am I crazy, Nathan? Um, no, I don't think so. You're just like, super weird. weird. Definitely weird. But not crazy, I think. Do you guys remember uh, at the end of training day, there's this like uh, poker scene that cops about to sell out the other guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good scene. One dude's like, you try to get your shit pushed in. <laughs> <laughs> Mother fucker. I have to go. See you later. I've got a
What? You offered to host Daniel's wedding. Yes. You're not even gonna deny it. No. What, you didn't think I was gonna find out? Not at all. What the fuck, Mom? <sighs> you know what? I'm making some margaritas. You wanna join me? I don't want fucking margarita, okay? You know what? Lower your voice. My Xanax hasn't kicked in yet, and I'm gonna take all this shit. Don't give a fuck about your Xanax, okay? You know what? I'm gonna walk away. You can either stay or not. Bitch! Can we please talk about this? Do we have to? Yes. Why don't you just move on? Because I'm not you, mother, that's why. You know what? If you're going to insult me, why don't you take off? Go, Jacob, go, now! Mom, what the fuck? I mean, I don't know why you're making such a big deal. Because you're letting the man that hurt me get married in dad's house. That's why. That was almost six years ago, honey. Six years ago, give me a break. Yeah, but it still hurts. Okay? Six years later, it still hurts. I'm gonna tell you something. The sooner you start, you realize you are victimizing yourself, the sooner you start healing, sweetie. Hey, okay, that's your problem. You're a drama queen. Now I know why dad killed himself. Watch it. He couldn't stand being married to a cunt. Take that back. Take that back? Take that back, honey. You should be in jail, mom. You know, if you took the time to think about my intentions, you would thank me. Thank you, okay? Yes, you would thank me, and you know why? Because for telling you the truth. You spent your whole life trying to find your father's approval, and you never realized he only tell you what you wanted to hear. Why? Because he was weak, just like you. Look at you, never having the guts to tell you the truth. What is the truth, Mom? You know the truth. Okay, but I'd like to hear from you. What's the truth? You're not talented, honey. That's the truth. Do you want to hear your truth? Go ahead. I think you're a terrible mother. And I really hope to God you die. Okay, why don't you go to Agatha's, you know, crying her love. You know, that's what you do best. Go, go. I'm a horrible parent. Bad. My sweet boy, follow me. Oh. 